CTrader allows developers to develop their algos through a convenient built-in editor. However, most times developers are already familiar with another development environment and it is more efficient for them to work with that. In this case, CTrader allows you to edit and debug your algos in popular third-party IDEs. In this video, we will demonstrate how to debug a CBot using Visual Studio. Let's switch to the CTrader Algo app and navigate to the CBots tab. We will use one of the ready-made examples to show how we can open CBots in Visual Studio and debug them. Let's select the sample RSI CBot. On the top menu we can see the option to select an IDE to edit our CBot. Let's choose Visual Studio. Visual Studio will launch, allowing us to edit and build our CBot through it. The first thing we need to do to enable debugging in Visual Studio is to select the debug configuration mode. Now that we have set out solution to debug mode, let's modify our code to allow debugging. Starting, we need to set the access rights to full access. Then we will attach a debugger to the CBOT running process. We can do so by calling the system diagnostics debugger launch method. Let's build our CBOT. In order to demonstrate the debugging process, we will add a breakpoint in our ONTIC method. Then we will go back to CTrader, add an instance to the CBOT and run it. Then we will select a debugger. As soon as the ONTIC event is raised, the execution will break by the breakpoint we have set earlier. At this point, we can use all the debugging capabilities of Visual Studio, like inspecting a method result in our watch. We can go back to our source code and use the step over function to move the execution to the next line. We can drag our execution line inside the if statement. Here we can use the step into function to step into the method and examine the execution of the method's code as well. In this video we have demonstrated how to debug CTrader algos using external IDEs. We hope that you found this video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.